quadratus femoris now. So as we were discussing, um, find the ischial tuberosity. And it comes off the lateral aspect of the ischial tuberosity. So find the inferior border of it. And then move superior laterally. And then you can push medially onto that. Find the greater trunk. to the posterior border of it there. So QF runs basically through this area here. As I was saying, you can palpate into that region. There's a few things that will do external rotation of the hip here. But this one, being a flatter, broader muscle, often feels like more of a lift under your finger. So I'll externally or internally rotate. I can just feel that coming up there under my fingers. Go again. Okay. So, where we needle for safety for this one is we want to needle in the lateral half of the muscle so that we avoid that sciatic nerve. So I've got a greater trunk there. Through here. Oops. And we're in through there. So what I would do is I'd hold that down like that. A bit like how we did piriformis down lower, and then we needle straight down there towards the table and tip it laterally. Firm pressure, I'm using a 40 mil needle here, as we were discussing, 75 probably going to be too long because I've got the, I'm not going to take my hand off and I've got the pressure on the, taking up the slack of the skin, so we should be right just to push that straight in there. So I'm just going through, I'm feeling for that first point of resistance there. I'll just slowly work into that. How are you finding that? Okay? No, it's okay. That's it?